a metallic sphere recovered in Colombia, has ignited global headlines claiming AI decoded a godlike message from its mysterious engravings. We've assembled breakthrough tests never before applied to this artifact. Tests that could confirm or completely debunk what you're about to see. These symbols sparked worldwide speculation about hidden meanings. We've investigated what media outlets are calling a cosmic message and developed new methods to test these extraordinary claims. Stay with me. Is there truly a structured communication hidden in these symbols? Or is something else entirely happening here? Because what we found next reframes the entire mystery. The corpus that unlocks everything. What would truly advance this mystery? Creating a comprehensive glyph corpus from high-resolution photos of the sphere. A proper analysis requires converting these enigmatic engravings into a clean, cataloged symbol set. Experts in linguistics document symbol positions, sequences, and patterns essentially creating an organized index of every marking on the surface. This matters because without a standardized corpus, there's no way to verify any translation claim. It's the missing key to this entire puzzle. Think of the engravings like a music score, notes, bars, order. Without a clean score, you can't judge the tune. Anyone claiming to decode these symbols should make their methodology transparent by working from a shared symbol inventory. If you like this fast, no-nonsense approach. Subscribe now. This research reaches more people. Up next, the alleged message that's caused global headlines and what linguistic analysis reveals about its structure. The alleged godlike message read through. According to reports from the New York Post and the Economic Times, AI analysis supposedly decoded this message from the sphere's engravings. From origin springs the eternal dance of creation. Through union and separation, consciousness expands beyond singular existence. The cosmic symphony transforms matter into meaning. When boundaries dissolve, unity reveals itself as the fundamental truth of all being. Important to note, this text appears in tabloid reports and social media, not in any peer-reviewed paper or formal linguistics study. No one has published the underlying translation method. The critical question, does this poetic text actually map to the symbol patterns on the sphere? Do the glyphs even contain enough unique characters to encode this message? Linguistic analysis offers clear tests. Real languages follow statistical patterns, frequency distributions, structural regularities, and information density that random decorations simply don't show. What do you think this text describes? Drop your guess now. The first pattern analysis results appear in just a moment. The mystery deepens with each symbol examined. These engravings inspire wonder, but wonder isn't evidence. If it is language, its statistics should whisper the truth. Does it behave like language? The core claim needs testing. Does this godlike message actually match patterns found in real languages? Linguists analyze symbol frequency distributions when examining unknown scripts. This reveals crucial patterns. When graphed, these frequencies create a distinctive curve called Zip's Law, a telltale fingerprint of actual communication. Decorative patterns show entirely different distributions. The difference is striking and measurable. Think of a real language as a recipe. Ingredients repeat in specific ratios. A pinch of this, cups of that. The proportions matter. Pure decoration works like wallpaper. Pretty, but repetitive with evenly distributed elements. The pattern dominates. When applied to the bugosphere engravings, this analysis reveals whether these symbols carry information or simply decorate. The next test raises the stakes dramatically. It examines whether the sphere can actually respond to external stimuli. A controlled audio trial. Some media outlets claim the sphere responds to Sanskrit mantras. This extraordinary assertion demands a proper scientific test. Here's what a valid protocol looks like. Prepare three audio files, the Sanskrit mantra, random speech in the same language, and silence. Play them on a randomized schedule unknown to the person monitoring the equipment. High sensitivity sensors would measure electromagnetic emissions, temperature changes, and vibrations during each playback. The data logs everything in real time. Blinded testing means the person recording measurements doesn't know which audio is playing. This prevents unconscious bias from affecting the results. 
A control provides the baseline comparison. If the sphere truly responds only to Sanskrit mantras, the sensors should detect nothing during the control conditions. The outcomes fall into two categories. Either consistent, measurable differences appear when the mantra plays, suggesting a genuine effect, or the readings show random variations unconnected to the audio type, indicating the claimed response needs stronger evidence. If a chant can trigger a response, it should do so behind a curtain. Same volume, same distance, same room. Only the content changes. If the logs diverge, everyone will see it. Now, for the most daring analysis, can these mysterious symbols be mapped systematically, line by line? Line mapping the symbols, three decoding paths. When attempting to understand unknown symbols, linguists and cryptographers typically follow three distinct analytical paths. Path A examines shape families. This approach groups similar looking glyphs together first. Triangle-like forms might indicate one semantic category, while curved symbols might represent another. This method reveals potential character sets within the engravings. Path B focuses on positional grammar. By tracking where specific symbols appear, beginnings, endings, or transitions, patterns emerge. Real languages show consistent positioning rules. Certain characters only appear at sentence starts or ends. Path C uses motif anchors. The sphere's central rosette design serves as a reference point. Symbols radiating outward might follow a logical progression, like chapters in a book or verses in a poem. Grammar simply means how pieces fit together, not what they mean. It's the structure behind communication, like knowing a sentence needs a subject and verb before understanding the specific words. Each path produces different statistical patterns. The path requiring fewest assumptions typically points toward the most likely explanation. One path aligns with the fewest assumptions. You'll see which. Houston, we have a problem. I don't think this is Florida. Luckily, I didn't need NASA. I needed a legal army. It turns out there's an injury firm called Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm, with over 1,000 attorneys and more than 100 offices nationwide. I tried calling one of those local lawyers with cheesy jingles. I was on hold longer than a Mars launch delay. Meanwhile, Morgan & Morgan helped a client in Florida get $12 million after the insurance company only offered $350,000. Morgan & Morgan only gets paid if they win your case. No upfront fees. You can file a claim right from your couch or from the jungle. Here's how easy it is. You can just click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. You can start your claim by clicking the link below or scanning the QR code on screen. Why this matters to you. Whether this sphere contains a message or not affects more than headlines. It touches how humans search for meaning in an uncertain world. People naturally seek patterns and messages in the unknown. It's hardwired into human psychology, from ancient stargazers to modern code breakers. If the alleged message exists, it fundamentally shifts cultural and scientific priorities. Think about it. Confirmed communication through unusual means would transform linguistics, anthropology, and potentially technology development. The stakes become practical very quickly. A verified message could redirect millions in research funding toward decryption and replication. Universities would create new departments focused on pattern analysis. Education systems might prioritize teaching pattern literacy alongside traditional language skills, preparing students for a world where meaning comes in unfamiliar forms. Even a hint of structured meaning changes how societies invest. It changes who gets heard. Your attention shapes what scientists test next. The search for understanding unites people across backgrounds. Wonder doesn't require advanced degrees. It connects through shared curiosity. Now, for a comparison of three origin scenarios without slowing down. Three logical explanations emerge when examining all available evidence about the Buga sphere. Path one, crafted transmitter. This scenario suggests a deliberately designed object carrying encoded information. The symbols represent intentional communication, 
whether created recently or in the distant past. Key indicators would include precision engineered materials, non-random internal structure, and symbols following linguistic patterns. Materials testing should reveal unusual alloys or manufacturing techniques beyond common industrial processes. Path 2. Prototype Instrument The sphere represents a tool with symbolic instruction panels, something designed for specialized use with operational markings. This path predicts standard industrial materials, functional internal components, and symbols arranged in instruction manual patterns. Imaging should show practical mechanisms rather than pure information storage. Path 3. Non-Human Probe an engineered device with embedded semantics from a source outside conventional human technology. This requires exotic material composition, demonstrable non-random responses to stimuli, and symbol patterns that follow a consistent but novel grammatical structure. Isotopic testing would reveal unusual signatures in the metal itself. Each path makes specific testable predictions. A crafted transmitter should show tool marks from known manufacturing techniques. A prototype instrument would match industrial catalogs and some components. A non-human probe would demonstrate properties that defy current material science. The evidence matrix becomes the ultimate arbiter. Whichever scenario matches the most verified data points becomes the most plausible explanation. The stakes couldn't be higher for understanding this enigmatic object. A community-driven approach respecting evidence remains essential. An open-source approach remains essential for solving this mystery. The symbol index should become publicly available for anyone to analyze. Simple code for counting patterns and frequencies belongs in shared repositories. This democratizes the research process and enables verification from multiple sources. Viewers with linguistics, cryptography, or materials science backgrounds can contribute valuable expertise through respectful replication studies. Safety must remain paramount in this collaborative effort. No requests for handling locations or recovery sites. No encouragement of unauthorized access or risky field expeditions. Focus on sharing analyses, not sensitive information. Some of you run labs, some of you parse texts. If you can help with counts or checks, join in. Keep it ethical, keep it open. The power of collective intelligence often solves what individual researchers cannot. Transparency builds credibility regardless of the ultimate findings. Now, for the culmination of this investigation, time to tie these threads together and deliver the payoff you've been waiting for. The journey through this mystery has provided critical tools for understanding the Buga Sphere phenomenon. You've heard the alleged message claimed by media outlets, poetic words about consciousness and cosmic unity that supposedly emerge from AI analysis. The fastest validation paths have been laid out. Frequency analysis, controlled response testing, and systematic symbol mapping that any qualified researcher could perform. Most importantly, you now understand which tests matter most. Open data sharing, blinded protocols, and falsifiable predictions that separate evidence from speculation. This knowledge empowers you to evaluate new claims instantly. When headlines shout about decoded messages or mysterious responses, you can now ask the right questions. As the corpus work develops through legitimate research channels, you'll recognize the hallmarks of rigorous investigation versus sensationalism. This discovery feels uniquely significant. It captures imagination while demanding scientific scrutiny. The intersection of mystery and methodology makes this moment potentially historic. If this analysis helped clarify this fascinating case, subscribe for updates on future developments and test results. The final word, extraordinary claims demand extraordinary evidence. This investigation brings clarity to confusion and method to mystery. A polished metallic sphere covered in enigmatic engravings allegedly carrying a message of cosmic significance. This mystery captures imagination while challenging scientific methodology. The investigation path revealed itself clearly, establishing rigorous testing protocols, developing a comprehensive symbol corpus, conducting controlled response trials, and evaluating three distinct origin possibilities against a decision matrix of evidence. The viewer's role becomes crucial from this point forward. Watch for legitimate data releases from established laboratories, 
Compare sensational headlines against the evidence matrix. Demand transparency in methodology. Curiosity drives human progress. It pushes boundaries and opens new frontiers of understanding. But true discovery happens when that natural wonder meets meticulous evidence. This case exemplifies how extraordinary claims can be approached with both open-minded fascination and scientific rigor. The balance creates a path toward truth, whatever that truth may be. Subscribe for the next data drop. Like and share if you want more fast investigations. The timeline begins in early March 2025, when multiple witnesses reported seeing a reflective object hovering over Guadalajara, Dabuga, Colombia. Shortly after, the sphere was reportedly recovered on the ground. By late May 2025, the story gained international traction. News outlets including NDTV, People, Fox Affiliates, and Live Mint began covering the phenomenon, repeating several key claims about the object. According to El Colombiano, the sphere was subsequently transferred to Mexico for further examination, with prominent ufologist Jaime Maussan involved in the investigation. Colombian authorities have issued no definitive statement about the object's origin. Physical descriptions remain fairly consistent across reports, a highly polished metallic surface featuring intricate engravings including triangular patterns, crescents, and a central chip-like rosette design. Media reports claim X-rays or CT scans show internal features including multiple layers and an array of microspheres surrounding a central core. Interestingly, the reported number of these internal spheres varies across stories, 9, 16, or 18 depending on the source, raising immediate questions about consistency. This isn't the first mysterious sphere to capture public attention. The Betts Mystery Sphere, discovered in Florida in 1974, provides an illuminating historical parallel. Initially believed extraordinary, it was eventually identified as an industrial ball valve with strange behaviors explained by floor tilt and internal mass distribution. Understanding the technical terms helps evaluate future claims. Micro CT scanning creates thousands of X-ray slices that combine into detailed 3D models, revealing internal structures without cutting the object. XRF, X-ray fluorescence, quickly identifies metal composition without damaging the sample, telling us what elements make up the sphere. A blinded trial prevents the researcher from knowing which test condition is active, eliminating unconscious bias from the results. A corpus represents a complete catalog of all symbols, their positions and relationships, essentially turning decorative patterns into analyzable data. This context frames the essential question at the heart of the Bugosphere mystery. Does this object contain an actual message, or does it represent something else entirely? The investigation continues as new, verifiable data emerges from legitimate scientific sources.